it to Earth orbit. You know, like I, I have a, I have a, a, um, a, a DVD set of the Apollo 8 mission with all the, um, the, the telecasts. They call it Leaving the Cradle. They call, because that was, the, you know, the first manned mission to the moon, supposedly. They call it Leaving the Cradle. Well, would it be, would it be, would it be illogical to, to leave the cradle and then after you, you know, seen the top of the mountain just go back to the cradle? Seriously. It's, it's, it doesn't make any, any sense. We're just, we're just relegated to, to low Earth orbit, you know. And we go and until we can we can say, look, we need to solve the radiation problem. We're we're not going to be able to solve it and, and not be able to get there for real. So we really need to get the 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 moon hoax conspiracy exposed and then put our minds together and find out how we can actually, you know, solve this issue. Well, how do you suppose that we could solve it? I mean, do, do we need like a an official investigation? What's your recommendation here? Well, for when it comes to solving the radiation problem, as I said before, we we need a lot of of uh, either water shielding to protect the to protect protect the astronauts. But of course, it's going to be way too heavy to lift, and so there have been all these other proposals, alternatives, you know, like electrifying the outer but, walls. But hold on a second, hasn't NASA been shut down by our Lord and Saviour President Barack H. Obary? <laughs> well, they, what, they, they they've, they've decided to um to switch over to the private sector. But as far as I can tell, there aren't any plans to return men to the moon anytime soon and there's always going to be proposals about going to the asteroids and going to Mars but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if come the next election they're going to say okay those are scrap too you know because that's that's, well, can, that's that's pretty much become the norm what has actually been accomplished by um the alleged moon missions like have they learned anything from the from these have they uh you know granted any great technologies or what have you and and then of course i want to know your perspective on what uh, dr bill deagle says that uh we have been to the moon and we ha in fact have bases there and they ferry people back and forth and he also says that we also have uh uh teleporter abilities that that uh, transport to like the uh base on mars or something like that what's your perspective on that well about uh, bases on moon and and teleportation devices i think that's complete rubbish but um as for the um as for what um uh what was the first part of your question the first part was about um about uh, the um barack obama and how they've 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 shipped over to the private sector wasn't it because like that's what they've done now is that um they've Instead of oh yeah, you asked what, what was the um what, was, what we've learned from it. Well, as a, as a result of Apollo, we've been getting a whole lot of wrong ideas about the um the moon missions as well. Because like as I said earlier, when the um when they uh when when the smart one crashed into the moon, it turned out that the moon rocks that's actually up there are in fact different to the the rocks that the astronauts supposedly brought back, and the moon rocks that um the the astronauts supposedly retrieved were pretty much identical in composition, mineralogy, and um, water contents and so forth to um. To um, terrestrial basalts and um, HED meteorites, wink, wink, you know, and it led to the um, to the to the uh, conclusion that oh, well, maybe the moon was formed when this huge Mars-sized planet that had the same composition as the HED meteorites it must have crashed into the Earth and kicked up all this debris from both parties, and that's why the moon is identical to the to the to the two bodies, you know. And well, it's what more likely happened is that the Apollo samples are just a bunch of of HED meteorites and um and 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 earth earth basalts you know because like they they have the same composition same mineralogy same isotopic composition and so so as a result we're getting all these wrong ideas about the moon and when we finally get the get the moon hoax conspiracy out in the open we're going to have to relearn everything we've we've learned about the moon because, you, know, you know to replace you know get rid of all the all the nonsense get rid of all the claptrap you know and start focusing on the real stuff See, my concern is, like, what's the point? You know, it's like, let's spend goodness knows how many billions, if not elaboratedly trillions of dollars, to go to a big rock to bring home some rocks. What benefit is there? Well, it's been, the, the idea is that, oh, we'll be able to learn so much from it, but all we've been able to see so far from these from the samples that they supposedly brought back is that, oh, well, they're the same as the Earth rocks, they're the same as the... As the HED meteorites, you know, there's, they, they're, they're as identical as three of a kind. But, you know, we, we, and then they send up their smart one, and it turns out it's different, you know, and that has been effectively swept under the rug because, of, you know, because, like, that, that contradicted the, um, the Apollo samples, you know, and, and any, any contradictory information that surfaces is, 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 is either denied or, or shunned out of the spotlight, you know, just, just all for the sake of propping up this myth, this, this Cold War or propaganda stunt. Well, that's what uh, is alleged, is basically they, they found it impossible to get to the moon, mm. 
-hmm. And uh, in psych warfare, the modus operandi is if you cannot achieve something for real to intimidate your enemy, you You fake it it to intimidate them. Yes. In fact, you know, the Russians as well, they had, they had, as I mentioned earlier, they had the Zond, the Zond spacecraft, which was the stripped down stories that they send around the moon and back to the Earth. They, as I mentioned, the Zond 5 mission, which had the, you know, the radiation resistant turtles aboard. And, um, in, in, um, in early as, in, in early as, uh, December 1968, they, they had the, the mission Zond 7 ready to go. And, um, Alexei Leonov, one of their cosmonauts, he was, he was begging his Soviet masters to let him fly it. You know, let me fly this around the moon. We can beat, the Americans, you know, with this this thing, but they said no. Don't, we're not letting you guys fly this until we can be absolutely certain of the of the radiation problem. You know, he, um, Sir Bernard Lavelle, he'd often ask his Soviet um, contacts, and they and he asked them, well, when are you guys going to be landing a man on the moon or sending them to the moon? And they'd always say, when we can be absolutely certain of getting them back alive. You know, and they they, well, they had hold on a second here, because because if the U.S. was willing to fake a moon landing. Is there any evidence that the Russians uh, faked any parts of their astronaut program? It's interesting you should say that because the, um, there are a lot of people uh, believe that the, um, the first spacewalk, you know, showing um, Alexei Leonov, you know, sp- walking outside of space, they believe that was filmed in front of a blue screen. But as to why they didn't fake their, um, their own moon missions and stuff, I believe they might have had the opportunity to, but they let, let it slip through their fingers. See, the, not only did Zonda 5 carry the, um, the turtles aboard, they also, it also had a little tapes recorder, a little tapes recorder with astronauts, you know, sent, with a cosmonaut's voice aboard, you know, sending back computer readings and stuff. That was playing during, and at the time, a lot of people thought, oh my god, the Russians have sent a man to the moon, but after that it was revealed, oh, it was just a tapes recorder. You know, I believe that the Russians, they had their opportunity to, to say, okay, we sent a man around there, but they, they let it slip through their fingers because at the time, you see, the Russian, the Americans, they weren't planning on sending a man to the moon allegedly until until well into next year. Well into the next year at that time, you know, there was 1968. They weren't planning until um, 1969, you know. But after the after the um, the little stunt with was on to five, NASA they abruptly changed their plans and they said, okay, we're going to make a follow away to manned flight around the moon now. And so, so the Russians they had their opportunity, but they blew it really. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Or the way the moon uh, conspiracy crumbles, too, as it turns out. Now, uh, speaking of the Russians, I mean, they they managed to get the first satellite into space first. I mean, and uh, that's that's admitted. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't you wouldn't disagree with that. Uh, the question I really have, and I'm not sure if I actually even uh, understand the question I'm about to ask. You know, I'm just kind of formulating it as I speak. Is that if the moon was a hoax? What are the ramifications of that to space programs, space travel, and all of the uh, various uh, industries and whatnot that are tied in with it? Because it was a pretty massive effort on the part of the U.S. government and the Russian government to uh, do space exploration. And now, uh, didn't they say they're going to uh, decommission the uh, the International Space Station or something like that? It's, it's almost like they're pulling out and just saying, oh, well, you know, it's uh, it was a long time ago. Just let it go, you know. And say, well, all right, well, don't bring up Jesus to me. We'll talk about more about that after the break. You can hear the music Well, now. we'll be right back. Now you and your family and friends can enjoy the cleanest, most delicious, and healthy drinking water anytime, even while traveling, camping, at sporting events, or in emergency situations. The Berkey Light removes bacteria, cysts, parasites, and harmful chemicals to below detectable levels. It also reduces nitrates and unhealthy minerals like lead and mercury, while leaving in the beneficial and nutritional minerals your body needs. Berkey Light is so powerful, it can even purify raw, untreated water from remote lakes and streams. And the optional PF2 filters even remove fluoride. The Berkey Light LED, with its rechargeable lighting system, can be used as a nightlight or a camp light. To view or purchase your Berkey Water System and replacement filters, please visit American Freedom Radio's website at AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click the Berkey banner. Once again, that's AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click the Berkey Water Banner. Not yet available in Iowa. 
Do you realise every day we are being put under constant stress from wireless radiation? What's worse is that you don't even know that it's happening. It puts as much stress on our body as if we had a constant viral infection, draining our energy and sapping our strength, or just making us irritable and fatigued. These wireless fields are being emitted from computers, microwaves, mobile phones, power lines, and any electrical appliance. Now there is a solution. A group of research engineers in New Zealand have come up with an active shielding device that shields you from wireless radiation at a cellular level. Blue Shield comes in three models, a household, portable and USB that plugs into any computer. The great thing about Blue Shield is it is very affordable and guaranteed to last. A one-off purchase will see you being protected for years to come. Visit AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click on the Blue Shield banner. Blue Shield, brought to you by the Show.com. Are you suffering from issues related to angina pain, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, unbalanced cholesterol, irregular heartbeats, clogged arteries? If so, you are not alone. Millions of people are suffering from one or more of these problems. If you'd like to live your life free of sickness, pain, and fear, live your life with increased vitality, energy, and youthfulness, and experience your body healing itself, then this might be the most important message you'll ever hear. An effective 100% organic nutritional supplement is now available. Heart and Body Extract is an exclusive formula of wild-crafted and organic herbs. It is extremely effective and starts to work within days. Get your Heart and Body Extract today by visiting heartandbody.com or by calling 866-295-5305, 866-295-5305 or heartandbody.com. What is it that's in your home that causes grown men to cower and children to run for cover? Run! Food storage! That's right. Food storage shouldn't be scary. At Simply Your Food, we are the premier providers of long-term, storable, GMO, and MSG-free meats, veggies, fruit, dairy, and pantry essentials like powdered butter. We even have a gluten-free line. Food storage shouldn't be scary. Let Simply Your Food help you with your food storage needs. Go to simplyyourfood.com or call 866-251-7511 and let us take the scary out of food storage. Go to simplyyourfood.com or call 866-251-7511 and let us take the scary out of food storage. News and information you can trust. This is American Freedom Radio. Freedom, freedom, American Freedom Radio. Radio. American Freedom Radio. Listen to Time for Him, hosted by Casper Leach. Afternoons, Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Central. Only on American Freedom Radio. Black sunrise, black sunrise, shadow coming over the sky. Black sunrise, black sunrise, always gonna be a surprise, cause we don't know. Welcome back to another exciting edition of the Vinnie Eastwood Show. Final segment with my very special guest, Jara White. Um, and this has probably been one of the uh, most absorbing shows I've ever hosted and uh, really quite honoured to have the privilege, really. Now, uh, Jara, are there any final points that you want to make in this last segment that perhaps you haven't touched on already? A conclusion, if you will. <laughs> 